Why does Mike Tyson win this fight? Because of Mike Tyson. It would be the biggest moment in all of boxing history when I put this man to sleep. I think he thinks this is going to be a very easy night. It's not going to be an easy night. <laughs> The ultimate disruptor taking on the baddest man on the planet. Mike just knocked somebody else out again, you know. This is going to be big. It's just, um, it's not like it's just some 27-year-old. It's Jake Paul. Yeah, when it happens, it's going to be a little bittersweet because I, I have love for him. But at the current moment, we're meant to go to war. Jake Paul and Mike Tyson just had a heated face-off, setting the tone for what could be one of the most electrifying fights the boxing world has seen in recent memory. In less than two days, these two opposites will clash in a Netflix-powered boxing mega-event. The anticipation is through the roof, as fans and critics alike can't wait to see if the YouTube star can truly stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the former heavyweight champion, or if Tyson's legacy and power will leave Paul in the dust. We have to say about this fight coming up this Friday, and many words for Jake. I'm just ready. I'm just ready. Let's go. Jake? Let's go. The do si -do. You ready yeah, to go? I'm excited, man. And uh, it's it's going to be a beautiful night. Amazing fights on the undercard. Amazing production. The amount of people showing up for this. The biggest stadium. The biggest platform. The biggest fighters. Doesn't get much better than this. This is going to be an amazing spectacle this Friday on Netflix and there's limited seats available on SeatGeek. This fight, a blend of old school boxing prestige and new age social media hype, taps into the recent trend of pitting internet sensations against seasoned fighters. In their final meeting before the gloves went on, the two sat down face to face, and it was clear neither was pulling any punches verbally. Tyson, who retired from professional boxing in 2005, reflected on the sport's evolution and the sheer uniqueness of this matchup. Boxing had never seen anything quite like this, he mused, a historic event that merges the traditional with the unconventional, creating a one-of-a-kind spectacle. I believe this is gonna be great for boxing. I believe I'm gonna win. But Tyson wasn't just feeling reflective, he was exuding a quiet, raw confidence that felt almost unbreakable. Despite having left the sport years ago, he made it clear he's not stepping back into the ring to lose. For him, there's simply no room for doubt. He's Mike Tyson, after all, and that name alone carries an aura of intimidation. As he thought about his legacy, Tyson shrugged it off in a brutally honest fashion. He wasn't concerned with how history would remember him. After all, he reasoned, in the end, that legacy doesn't matter to him, only the fight at hand. And if there's one thing that hasn't changed for Tyson, it's that unwavering, almost primal urge to come out on top, no matter who's across the ring from him. Paul, for his part, seemed eager to prove himself yet again, knowing full well that the world of boxing hasn't always welcomed him with open arms. Jake Paul may be facing off against a legend, but he's coming in with confidence. Despite calling Mike Tyson the baddest man on the planet, Paul has kept a steady belief in his ability to pull off the unthinkable. Sure, Tyson's physique and his reputation for destruction have crossed Paul's mind, especially when he catches those intimidating Instagram shots. But for Paul, this fight isn't about intimidation. It's about proving he can overcome the odds. This is the essence of what Jake Paul has built his brand on, challenging expectations and pushing into the realm of the impossible. Man, he's a legend, you know? This is the guy. This is one of the two most famous boxers to ever live, him and Muhammad Ali. This is a dream come true for me. I am inspired by Mike, his story, you know, what he's persevered through. And to be able to fight him and to share the ring with such a legend is a special moment for me and it's historic. And the fact that we did it with Netflix, it's the biggest fight of the century. And that's what I love to do, make history have fun, and go to war. Back in August, their last face-off took a chaotic turn. Tyson landed a playful punch on Paul. Standing face to face, Tyson even threw a little shove, and Paul, undeterred, gave one right back. The brief scuffle had the crowd buzzing, only intensifying the hype for what's set to be a wild showdown.
Both men seem to know that while they're entering the ring with the spirit of competition, it's all business. There's no love, no hate, just two fighters squaring up for one night and a huge payday. Originally, the fight was set for July, but Tyson's recent health scare caused a delay. Now fully recovered, the former champ is ready to go, and so is Paul. The two will face off in AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, the colossal home of the Dallas Cowboys, a venue that holds a jaw-dropping 80,000 fans. All eyes will be on that Texas ring. Tyson and Paul, two fighters from two completely different worlds, will collide for what might be one of the most talked about fights of the year. This all came from an ayahuasca ceremony. When I saw this happening, I saw the butterfly effect of every kid going into the gym the next day, wanting to be like me or Mike. 700 million people watching on Netflix and the impact this will have on the sport is unfathomable and it's untangible, quite frankly. Mike Tyson, the legendary American boxer from New York City, has been hailed as one of the greatest heavyweight fighters of all time. Back in the late 80s, he took the boxing world by storm, becoming the youngest heavyweight champion at just 20 years old. Known as Iron Mike, he became a global icon with a ferocious fighting style and an unforgettable presence. He reigned as the undisputed heavyweight champion from 1987 to 1990, a title he held with intimidating power and skill. However, Tyson's life outside the ring was as intense as his time in it. His career has been marked by highs and lows, including multiple convictions and time served behind bars. Despite his off-field troubles, Tyson returned to boxing in 1996 and reclaimed his championship belts. But then came his infamous rematch with Evander Holyfield in 1997, a fight that became notorious for Tyson's two ear bites on Holyfield, leading to a disqualification and the loss of his boxing license. Tyson's last title bout was in 2002 against Lennox Lewis, who ultimately knocked him out in the eighth round. After a few more fights and financial struggles, Tyson retired in 2005, seemingly closing the book on his legendary career. Fast forward to today, Tyson is stepping back into the ring, but this time, his opponent is someone from a completely different era and world. To be honest, boxers have never seen nothing like this in the history of boxing. Since it began, since it began 250 years ago, it's never seen anything like this and probably never will. Well, Mike, let me ask you this. What does it say about Mike Tyson if he knocks out a 27-year-old Jake Paul? Mike just knocked somebody else to go out again, you know. This is going to be big. It's just, um, it's not like it's just some 27-year-old. It's Jake Paul. YouTuber turned boxer, Jake Paul. Tyson has expressed genuine respect for Paul's progress as a boxer, acknowledging that the younger fighter has shown surprising dedication and growth. When the fight was first announced, Tyson couldn't resist the idea of going up against someone 31 years younger. He even remarked that he's curious to see what the ambition of a kid can do against the grit and skill of a true boxing legend. Are you mad facing off against Iron Mike Tyson? I mean, he's fit, sure he's 100, but gee, he looks good. Yeah, man, he's looking really, really good. I'm definitely a little bit crazy, and I'm definitely a little bit scared, you know? This is the toughest fight I've had to date against the most experienced opponent. It's at heavyweight, and Tyson's dropping people and sparring. He looks the best shape and the strongest he's ever been is what his coaches are saying. And so I know on November 15th, it's gonna be a war, but I just plan on outboxing him and, and showing the world what I'm capable of and coming alive in the moment and knocking out one of the best to ever do it. I know, but it's gotta be a kind of a funny one for you because he is the best ever, but also he's kind of, he's getting on a little bit and do you lose if you win? Yeah, no, it, a lot of people are, you know, wondering, Jake, why are you doing this? Like, even if you beat him, they're going to say, oh, he was old or whatever. But to me, Mike Tyson wanted to fight me. That is an honor. He's one of the most famous boxers in the world to ever do it. Him, Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. And to step in there with someone of his nature is, is an honor. It's a dream come true. And it's going to be a spectacle on Netflix. 700 million people, wow. you know, Dallas, Texas, AT&T Stadium. Uh, you know, it's going to be one of the most entertaining nights the sport has ever seen. All right, you've come face to face with Tyson a few times already, brother. Uh, he hasn't bitten your ears off, so to speak. Uh, but has he bitten off more than he can chew with you, though, bro? Your final pitch. Let's go. Roll it out. 
Yeah, 1000%, you know, people just think I'm this nice, crazy, smiley social media content creator. I like to have fun. You know, I've always been the class clown, but I'm a killer. Uh, this is what I was bred to do. This is my destiny. On November 15th, I will stop him and become the face of boxing. And whether people hate that or, or love mm -hmm. it, they're going to have to accept it because I was born to do this and I will be world champion and I will go down in the Boxing Hall of Fame as, as one of the greatest to ever do this sport. For, for Paul, this match is a massive step. He made his boxing debut in 2018 in a celebrity match and turned professional just two years later. Since then, he's been relentless in proving himself, racking up a high-profile victory over Ben Askren in a first-round knockout in 2021. Paul even went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tommy Fury, younger brother of heavyweight champ Tyson Fury, although he lost that fight by decision. Paul's confidence has been as unshakable as Tyson's reputation. The 27-year-old Ohio native knows he's fighting a legend, but he hasn't been shy about his intentions. As soon as the fight was rescheduled after Tyson's recent health issues, Paul cheekily remarked that he supported the delay. He wanted to make sure Tyson wouldn't have any excuses when the bell rang. And though he admits he respects Tyson, Paul has made it clear they're not friends until the fight's over. Man, uh, this is just, it's my time. That You know, the gods have showed this to me. I'm, I'm gonna be faster, stronger, and more elusive. He's not gonna know where I'm coming from, and I'm, great imagination. I'm truly, <laughs> great imagination. I'm truly gonna show the world that uh, I outboxed Mike Tyson, and that's fucking wild to say. Jake Paul's boxing journey has been a wild ride, and it seems he's always ready to add another twist. What started as influencer bouts evolved quickly, pitting him against professional athletes and even a few MMA fighters. But up until now, Paul's closest brush with a true boxer was against Tommy Fury. Tyson Fury's younger brother in early 2023. That fight handed Paul a split decision loss, marking his first big stumble in the ring. Since then, he's been on a mission to claw his way back to relevance. He secured a win over Nate Diaz and then went on to take down Andre August and Ryan Borland with first round knockouts, setting his sights on none other than the iconic Mike Tyson. For me, I've dreamt this manifested it and It'll be the start of, you know, what has been a 12 year career for me in entertainment and acting and working and all the things I've done now into boxing. This is finally my moment and my time to shine. And I'm going to show the world who the fuck I am because everyone's out of me. Everyone's had something to say. Nothing was ever given to me. I've had to work for it all. Suppressed by everyone, kicked off of YouTube, kicked off of platforms, canceled five times and here I am throwing the biggest event in really all of entertainment actually and now it shows to the rest of the world what hard work and perseverance can can do and I'm just happy to be able to show that to other kids who maybe have to go through adversity and have to fight and have to keep on proving themselves time and time again. So from your answer what I got is you said when it does happen yeah. So you're gonna knock Mike out? It's already written. Okay. You heard that shit? Uh, clearly. Just making sure. I like that confidence right there. This is the baddest man on the planet. Heavyweight. Look, I mean, just look at the guy sitting here right now. Right. He's an animal. He posts Instagram pictures and I get a little scared because of how good he looks. <laughs> but it. I have to step up to this level and show people that I can accomplish the impossible. And that's what the story of Jake Paul is all about. The Tyson fight was originally scheduled for July, but health issues led the 58-year-old veteran to postpone after suffering an ulcer flare-up mid-flight. But Jake didn't slow down. He squared off with bare-knuckle boxing champ Mike Perry, earning himself yet another knockout. The months rolled by, and with each fight, the hype for a showdown with the former heavyweight king continued to grow. And as he has with all his past fights, Paul's been talking up his intentions, promising fans he'll be the one to knock out a boxing legend. Yet when it comes to this Tyson matchup, a dose of reality is necessary. With 14-ounce gloves instead of the standard 10-ounce and 2-minute rounds instead of 3, it's almost as if the rules were tailored to keep things, well, softer. Tyson's conditioning, even at his age, 
won't be truly put to the test, and should anyone find themselves in trouble, those short rounds give plenty of time to regroup and recover. Sure, Paul's recent knockouts over August, Borland, and Perry sound impressive, but none of these opponents had much name recognition. The closest comparison for this Tyson fight? Paul's bout with Anderson Silva. There, Paul faced an aging legend in a contest that never really took off. It felt more like a glorified sparring session. Fans can expect the Tyson showdown to play out in much the same way. Paul will likely prove to be the quicker, younger fighter, putting up enough offense to keep himself ahead on points. But it's doubtful Tyson will hit the mat. This fight is just barely more than an exhibition after all. Tyson, at 58, is a shadow of his former self. His famous fury mellowed, and his once terrifying gaze softened. Time has reshaped him, though his title of Iron Mike, the youngest heavyweight champion in history, still commands respect. This fight has stirred controversy, with critics labeling it a freak show, a potential health risk for Tyson, and a degradation of boxing's dignity. But at its core, it's nothing more than a money-making spectacle. Let's face it, Tyson's not going to take serious damage here. Should he falter, the ref, his corner, or even Tyson himself will likely call it before Paul's gloved punches can leave a lasting mark on the former champ. Yeah, um, I'm tougher than I believe I was. Because actually, uh, when I agreed to this fight, and I started training, I said, what the f am I thinking? And I finished the process, and now the fight, the fight's the party. All the hard work is done. When you have, you have all these fans here, the number that I've gotten so far, broadcasting around the world, 282 million subscribers, most likely the biggest live crowd, obviously, that you fought in front of. Did you ever think for this moment that it would be taking on a Jake Paul? Never in the main year. I never thought I would be fighting him. And out of those numbers that we'll be watching, something special, and I know you're close to them. Your kids are here, your family's watching. They'll be at that ring on Friday. To have them here, what does that mean to you? Say that once again, please. Outside of the fans watching and all the eyes on you, I'm sure the most important ones are your family. Your kids are out here, everyone's coming in to see you on Friday. What does it mean to have family with you? Well, um, it's the family's everything. But my kids, to my children, I'm nobody. But, then, but that night they're gonna find out their father's very special. You know, they, they, I don't want to say take me for granted because they talk a lot of mess to me that nobody else would. So <laughs> when I have a the fight, they're going to realize they better watch it next time they talk crap to me. And yet, there's always that tantalizing sliver of unpredictability. What if Tyson, out of nowhere, lands a solid blow? What if Paul is the one left reeling on the canvas? It would mark Tyson's 45th career knockout in his storied 51-win record. That's the thing, isn't it? It's the classic tale, the battle of the old lion and the young wolf. But now, the thousands of fans gathering at AT&T Stadium and millions more tuning in on Netflix are here for a different kind of Tyson fight. The buildup has been all smoke and mirrors, with gym clips showing Tyson's flash of his old ferocity, a glimpse of that same animal on the pads only for two or three seconds at a time. His 2020 exhibition against Roy Jones Jr. had Tyson looking slower but still formidable, enough to keep fans hooked. That was then. Now, a few years older, he faces Paul in what might be one of his last outings in the ring. Paul has stirred up plenty of attention with his bold talk of greatness and promises of taking down legends, but his path to this moment has been filled with opponents far removed from the upper echelons of boxing, a lineup of former UFC fighters, bare-knuckle brawlers, and fellow celebrities. His record of 10 wins and a single loss has been a mix of spectacle and strategy. But when Paul finally met an unbeaten prospect in Tommy Fury, the two delivered a surprisingly close, hard-fought battle that ended with Fury narrowly edging him out. Despite the outcome, Paul handled the defeat with a surprising level of humility and respect. For this bout, the Texas Commission has set the rules to limit some of the risks. They've reduced the rounds to two minutes each and boosted the gloves up to 14 ounces, offering a bit more cushion. And while 14-ounce gloves may not be as dangerous as the regulation 10-ounce, they can still pack a punch if thrown by a fighter who knows how to use them. In a perfect world, maybe this fight wouldn't be happening. But boxing isn't exactly an ideal sport where title fights can be dodged for years and rankings sometimes make little sense. I've always been in the gym training. 
I'm in boxing professional fighters. I'm just, um, activity is great. I had 15 fights in one year when I was younger. And I think activity is great, but I'm, I'm prepared. I'm just ready to go. Now, does a loss to Jake Paul damage your legacy? I don't look at my life as a legacy. Legacy to me means ego. Who the fuck cares about my legacy? I'm gonna be dead soon one day, but he's not gonna win. What do you say about your legacy if you end up beating Mike Tyson, not just beating Mike Tyson, knocking Mike Tyson out? Obviously, it would be the biggest moment in all of boxing history on Friday night when I put this man to sleep. So that is, that is pretty dope. He dreams a lot. <laughs> a lot of dreams. I knew it all come true. This is not gonna come true, young man. Hey man, I, I respect your opinion, but it's just my time. The universe know it, the, the gods know it, I know it, and you're gonna know it. Okay. Plain and simple. Okay, for next week, we'll see. We will. That's the beauty of boxing is the truth comes out, and by golly, do I love the truth. As fight night draws near, there's a mixture of anticipation and unease. Fans are curious to see if Tyson, now 31 years older than his opponent, can make it through the rounds with some dignity intact. And there's hope that Paul, should he win, doesn't turn it into a spectacle of self-promotion. It won't be pretty, but in the bizarre world of boxing, that's exactly what makes it compelling. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and smash the notification bell. Thanks for watching.